What's up guys, today we're going to be doing this drone boomerang effect. This is my original drone shot right here. Uh, it flies all the way into this waterfall. So I shot this in normal flying mode and the original flight isn't actually that smooth. With a few little tweaks, it's going to look really good. So the first step on this is to select the start point where you want the boomerang to speed up. I'm going to go a couple of seconds into this video clip, select it, make sure my markers there, hold shift and press B. That's going to create a speed ramp. And then I'm going to go to the end point where I want the boomerang to slow down again, hold shift, press B. And then on this middle portion right here, I'm going to go to the drop down menu and go to fast 20%. Because my drone shot was shot in 30p and I'm on a 24p timeline, I need to slow these down to 80%. And then what I'm going to do is drag these sliders out so that it creates a nice smooth change of speed. To speed up the middle part even more, what I'm going to do is just drag this down to speed it up. Okay, so that's looking good right now. The next step is to stabilize it. So we're going to go over here to the parameters and go to stabilization. The stabilization settings that normally work best for this sort of video are inertia cam and then the smoothing you want to turn all the way up. The slider will only let you go up to three, but what you can do is actually click and drag this number all the way up. I would start at around 20 to see if that's nice and smooth. And if that's not smooth enough, then you can just keep turning up and up to get a nice smooth image. So once you're happy with how your video clip looks, to turn it into a boomerang, what you have to do is copy and paste your video clip. I'm actually gonna cut the end of this down so that it kind of bounces back a lot quicker. So I'm just gonna copy and paste this. And on this video clip, what I'm gonna do is turn it into a compound clip. So you can press Alt G or you can right click and go to new compound clip. And then go here to the speed dial and we're just going to go reverse clip. So now when this clip starts playing, it will bounce back and create that boomerang effect. So yeah, there you go. That's pretty much it. That's how you create the boomerang effect, nice and smooth. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.